hey little one i'm a shopkeeper and let me try selling you some clothes uh, but oh oh this these clothes they're not folded they're just lying like that on the table why would anyone want to buy them so you know let me teach you data structures and algorithms also while i'm trying to sell you clothes uh, so t-shirt this is data and uh, jeans over here this is data and oh i have a cap over here as well this is data as well but data is just lying around on my table it needs to be folded it needs to be structured if my data is structured then people will buy my clothes <laughs> or else uh, i'll go broke so let me fold this t-shirt quickly and let me keep it here so yeah i have folded my t-shirts you know i've folded all of them neatly so now this data structure t by data i mean t-shirt and structure by structure i mean organized so this organized t-shirt this data structure looks nice now and you you might want to buy it now similarly my jeans is folded and and it's structured as well so this is also a good data structure and i have only one cap so i folded the cap also so this is also a data which is structured so data data structure basically uh, says that there is some data and it needs to be stored properly it needs to be processed properly it needs to be taken care of data needs to be taken care of just like how you need to be taken care of little one so now uh let's let's jump into algorithms so algorithms is really cool okay so now uh i have my folded clothes over here and a customer comes and asks for jeans how will i sell the customer jeans if if my jeans and t-shirts are all mixed up together let me do one thing let me follow the sequence of steps i'll remove t-shirts and i will keep only jeans folded next to each other so the customer will directly come and look into jeans now if the customer wants a cap well i can't give an example of cap because i have only one cap but if a customer wants to come and buy t-shirts what i can do is i can keep t-shirts separately and i can stack them up like this beautifully and give this to the customer and then the customer would want to buy some t-shirts now what if the customer says i want a green color t-shirt so what do you want to do for that so i have like random t-shirts with me over here i am going to follow sequence of steps and take out green and i'm going to show the customer green t-shirts so that's algorithm it's basically sequence of steps to uh, get something done so i hope you understood thank you and have a nice day bye hi let me explain you data structures and algorithms so data structure and algorithms uh, let's start off with a simple software system like your mobile phone now this mobile phone it generates a lot of data and this data needs to be taken care of and there are many processes on your phone like opening an app closing an app installing and uninstalling an app all these processes need to be addressed how does it come up how do these processes come together and allows you to do what you want to do so that's a problem that we need to address so the solution is data structures and algorithms so data structures are like specialized format which stores retrieves and processes your data and the algorithm are just basically sequence of steps which we follow so there are many types of uh, data structures and algorithms so there are linear and non linear data structures and then stack queue uh arrays linked list etc and algorithms there are many popular algorithms uh, like searching sorting graph tree traversals and dynamic program that's the uh, way above right now and uh, some real world examples so arrays now if you open your mobile phone and you can see list of contacts on your phone uh, how is that created it's created using an array of contacts so uh, another example would be linked list now if uh from the array of contacts if you click on one contact you go on to a new window on your phone which shows you uh the contacts Im image contacts phone number address date of birth etc that's a linked list we are linking from array of contacts to a new window uh so graphs graphs is another very popular data structure so if you want to travel from like point a to point b then you can open google maps and find the shortest distance that's graph in motion so some uh, algorithms would be uh, searching and sorting now if you open the contacts app on your phone all your contacts are already sorted for you from a to z that's uh, uh, that's sorting in picture and if you want to search for something for search for a contact for example tim hortons manager you can just search for tim hortons manager and then that contact pops up so that's a searching algorithm in play as well Uh, so that's all thank you and i hope i was informative hi let me explain you data structures and algorithms data structures is just a format to arrange construct configure and structure the data whereas algorithms are sequences of steps now when we take data structure and algorithm and we couple them together we form code 
Now this code might be efficient, might not be efficient. Now the efficiency of the code is determined by time and space complexity. So after each line of code that's executed, uh, there's some time which is uh, 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 consumed and some memory that's taken up. Now if the time and space both are less, that means the program is efficient. That means you're a good programmer. So uh, let me give you a real world example for this. Now consider that uh, consider a flight booking system. A user a user is in general capable of booking how many ever flight tickets that user wants. So for example, a teacher can should be able to book uh, a f a flight tickets for fifty students. But what if the website were uh, developed uh, in such a way were developed using an array? So an array is defined with a fixed size. So uh, if the if the developer of the website developed the website using an integer array and uh, maybe say 30, if that uh, developer put in 30, that means that at a time the user can up only store 30, uh, can only can only book up to 30 flight tickets. But if instead of using an integer array, the developer used an array list, which is an implementation of the list interface, then uh, the user then the user can book how many ever flight tickets that user wants. Maybe that's maybe the class teacher can book up to 50 up to 100 for 100 students. So that's this is the efficiency I'm trying to differentiate uh, a simple array and an array list an, an array can only store a certain amount of data, but array list is dynamic the more data you feed in, the larger it grows. So array list adapts to change, whereas a simple array does not. Now understanding this difference is understanding data structures and play and putting it together into algorithms is what uh, differentiates a good programmer with bad programmer. So uh, the plan is to be a good programmer. Uh, thank you and I hope I was informative. Bye.